in Jinja and this is one of the cities we have in Uganda. Remember our series, I recently did a series or a video about inside Fort Porto. Now I'm in Jinja and I'm going to look at what Jinja has to offer to the country but also to the people who come here for this. Let us look at what Jinja has. I understand Jinja has a river Nile and the source of river Nile is here. So we are going to look at the river Nile, look at the town itself and talk to some people what they think about Jinja. If you are watching this video for the first time or visiting this channel for the first time, remember to subscribe on my YouTube, press that button, subscribe, like the video and also be able to comment if you have anything to say about Jinja or about this video, please feel free to comment. Known as the gateway to Eastern region, Jinja is arguably the third largest city in Uganda. Jinja, which was once the leading industrial city of Uganda because of hydroelectric dam along River Nile, is slowly staking its climb once again. The collapse of this industrial town was caused by expulsion of Asians in 1970 by the Ugandan president Idi Amin Dada. As Asians left, the economy crumbled and Ugandans who replaced them at that time were too inexperienced to manage industries. The collapse of industries was not only felt in Jinja, but also throughout the country. With the overthrow of the government of President Idi Amin, many Asians returned to Uganda, but the town never got back to its former glory. Looking at its main streets and businesses, it only sends a message that Jinja, which was once a trading giant of Uganda, is steadily picking up. It might not only be in terms of industrialization, but also as a tourist destination. Yeah, you know, the weather is cool today, like you're seeing. Yeah, everything is nice in Jinja. We have a lot of things to, as in you can uh, go and check a, or a look at the River Nile. Yeah, the source of the Nile is right here. So we, I will take you there, don't worry. Yeah, this is Jinja and this is home. Okay, tell us about the beautiful creatures which you can go and visit and see uh, so that people can get attracted to from abroad and East Africa and in Uganda at large. Yeah, well, uh, we have Itanda Falls. Uh, we are we are going to to have nyege nyege from so we are here everything is gonna be nice you know the dates are closer mm. i don't know where i don't know when but time is coming i'll let you know yeah very interesting yeah it's so good so good uh, how do basoga cover like how do they say that it is very interesting and everything chirunji you know chirunji you know that's very interesting On these streets you will be able to meet people of different races such as the whites, the Asians and other races. It is not a surprise to bump into people from other regions of Uganda. Ginger and I have got a friend in Ginger. I would like to know what you think about Ginger. Yeah, this is Babu Shafiq. Yes, sir. I'm right now here, but now this is the, tall, the tallest building in Jinja. Yeah, sure. And now we have a lot of uh, tourist attraction in Jinja. And the way you see, it was not in Jinja. Mm. And now more so, River Nile is in Jinja. Yes. Yeah, so tourists come mostly to mm. have a look at it. Mm. Yes, sir. I've seen an improvement in the traffic lights and these are... Uh, so what are the other things that uh, have improved in Jinja? Uh, you know, uh, touring places have improved. So now, uh, let me talk about uh, Busowoko. You've never gone there, yes. there before. No, I haven't. Yeah, because you're new here. Yes. But the place is so good, and that's where we're going to have Nyege Nyege. Okay. Yes, sir. I've heard about Nyege Nyege yeah. as a cultural event that attracts very many people in East Africa, in Uganda, and some come from countries outside East Africa. So what do you think about Nyege Nyege? How does it help Ginger as a city? Ginger as a city, we local people, we benefit from it because we sell our stuffs. Mm. Because we go there with food stuffs mm. and now the other ones come 
and basically for uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, to uh, we get, to come and, uh, uh, tourists okay. to come and, uh, this the place. And like any other city, downtown Jinja is the busiest place. Here you will find traders, Jinja Central Market, small scale businesses, and the tax park. Buoyed by River Nile, the longest river in the world, the source of the Nile, and the beautiful bridge, it is a no-brainer that many tourists visit Jinja throughout the year. While moving around the city, you will easily spot Asian architectural designs and old buildings that still exist here. Whereas there are several tourist attractions in Jinja, River Nile is the major attraction in Jinja with almost all tourism activities centered along it. Compared to five years ago, Jinja has greatly improved in terms of buildings, businesses, and general skyline of the city. If this growth is sustained, this city is likely to restore its previous status of being a vibrant, middle-income settlement that most Ugandans used to know.